Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Renaissance Kong, and we have an uh, amazing mock here I actually made. Um, so, just to begin with, a quick shout out to Ego Bricks for some of the, the idea process for this. Um, I will get into what he gave me the ideas for later, but for right now, let's get into the mock. So, this is actually a new technique. I've actually seen uh, some Lego builders around the community actually making this type of Lego build. So, you know, we have like the sideways build. So, everything's normal right here. But you can tell the build is sideways in. That's why I have everything closed off. So this is like regular face upward tiles. This is actually tile sideways. My bad. Tucked into where it is. So this is all re resting on a flat surface. Of course, I put some studs for the characters to stand on. Put one for the lamp. I just didn't have any room for where this guy can go. So we can kind of move around in the computer. So you can see all the different screens. That is one of my own creations computer. That is not from anything else. I made that one up. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying before. So, Nico Bricks really helped me with the ideas with this. And one of those ideas is the positioning for this. So I like where I put it. It's like not too far to the side and not too far like in the middle. You, want, you don't want to be your command center right in the middle. But anyway, okay, we have a uh, naval guard officer for the Imperial fleet here. He's manning the gunner uh, operating station. So basically, you see this red light it's up here that controls the guns, and basically, it's just robotic from there. A um, little bit of storyline to that. I wouldn't call it storyline, but just an extra cool detail. Um, going to the side, we have a cool little lamp. I think it would look cool if it was nighttime. You could see what you're doing in the computers. We have the gunk droid from the Bad Batch shuttle. I have that. You can check out the review on one of my videos. One of the highlights of this is this really cool Citadel scarif looking uh, control laser thing. I think it looks really cool. It can swivel up and down, all that stuff. It actually looks really cool, I think. First time, like, attempting one of these. Sometimes it's wiggle just because old plate. But you can make it rearrange down and up and down and up. Um, I used pictures from, like, P-Tower cannons from Hoth um, to make it look like that. But, yeah, so that's that part. We're going to save the turbo laser from that for last. Um, we're going to move on back here for the cargo crates. So there are... Uh, let's see, four different types of cargo crates. Um, two of them, two types of them, are built by me. So, here's another shout out to Nico Bricks. Um, these were in his video. Really cool looking crates. I like them. They are, if you didn't know what they are, um, they are the Kyber Crystal Holders from Rogue One on Jetta from the tank. They were, they were what's inside the orange containers. So, that is a quick little fact right here. For the second one that I made, is this little crate. You can fit basically an, well, anything in here. Um, here's ones you've probably seen before. Just a basic little container. And this one, you know, this, that one's pretty big. They're all empty. I didn't really want to put anything in there because I'm actually focusing... Oh, my scarif knock over there, you can see. I'm gonna work on it next Friday. I actually ordered a bricklink order just now. Right before this video, actually. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna be getting footage of that, too. Also, with the minifigures, we have a storm cheaper kind of looking out, guarding. Speaking of guarding, we have a mock security camera, actually. So, I figured I don't want to use too many troopers because it's a crowded space. I decided to use a security camera. I think it turned out really good. It's kind of unstable, but it's. It, I think it's really good looking when you hook it back in. It was up and down and side to side. And just the base of it can go side to side because it's resting on one stud. So you can look at it. And then there was a little laser right here too to blast any intruders. It's like alarm. And that 
So now for the main part of this video, we have the turbo laser tower. We're going to move this around here so we can get the best look we can of it. This is all my creation. I had the why I had it here from Negro Bricks, but the entire design of this all me. So we have the two open parts with the uh, like some axles in there controlling the two guns. And the fact that this tower is on top of plates, so this is separate, and it just goes on right here, and just swivels pretty easily. And then these are made out of just regular plates attached onto outward facing stud panels. So this is actually really cool. Here you got the lights up here that go with the computer screen right, right over there. They're red. So that's what it locks in with, and I basically just played around with a general design of the outside of the turbo laser. So alright, so this is it. Um, this is my mock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I I spent a lot of time making this. Um, this week I am going to put out the Bricklink order when it comes. I'm going to show you guys. I ordered some pieces for the scarf box, so I'll make a separate video for that so I don't have to use up any of the time from the scarf mock itself. So uh see you see you guys next time on Renaissance Con. Peace.